What's going on guys, Unknown Player here and today we're going to be taking a look at another elite weapon within Advanced Warfare. This is the Ameli Whalehorn Elite variant of uh, the LMG called the Ameli in the Heavy Weapons category. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at its stats, some of the differences, how it differs to the original and also comparing it to its other variant, the Chicanery. And as always, if you want to see more of these elite weapon overviews, there's a playlist in the description full of a ton of these elite weapons that I've covered on my channel. Definitely check that out if you haven't already. And I've also covered the other Ameli, the Chicanery and uh, if you want to see what that is like, uh, you can check that video out in the description as well. So we're going to take a look at the Whalehorn, and on screen right now you can see its stats. So we've got minus 2 for damage, minus 1 for accuracy, and plus 2 for handling. So I'm just going to say right off the bat, this weapon is absolutely awful. It is a very, very bad weapon. I would probably recommend the original Omele over this, and I would definitely not aspire to get this weapon. It's got minus 2 for damage, which uh, you might think at first is actually very bad, but it's actually not. It doesn't make it any more shots to kill, uh, even at its very longest range with the minus two damage it still does 25 damage per bullet which is still four shot kills it's gonna be three to four shots to kill and uh, so surprisingly it just managed to make it so it's in that four shot kill range so luckily the damage isn't actually affected on this it's kind of like a, a placebo that you make you think that it's doing less damage but it's actually not uh, the minus one in accuracy can actually be seen it does quite a little bit more recoil you can see a side by side comparison and uh, it does have a little bit more of a kick than uh, the original which is quite annoying to uh, have on an LMG uh, it's all about accuracy it fires a lot of bullets you don't really want one that's kicking uh, quite often so the minus one accuracy is very bad as well and then it's got plus two for handling handling equals hip fire spread so this means it has a tighter hip fire spread it's kind of like got built-in steady aim and of course you can also top the laser sight on top of that to make their uh, kind of hip fire spread even tighter which could be beneficial but when are you ever going to be hip firing lmgs it's definitely not a recommended way to use them and uh, heavy weapons are not supposed to be hip fired so you could go around with a laser sight on this thing and hip fire people you might have some kind of avail to that but it is definitely not a good strategy and uh, of course it also has that uh, increased magazine it has a 150 magazine and that's quite big it's quite good but uh, again lmgs are very very bad in this game there's no start of hand in this game there's no way to speed up the reload and uh, eventually they're just not going to be able to last they're going to run out of ammo you need to reload and this thing is just not very viable with extended mags it can go up to 225 bullets which is quite enormous for an lmg and you can just have a very very huge amount of bullets in that which is, could be kind of seen as helpful and you can get a lot of kills within 225 bullets but even still unless you want to throw extended mags and a laser sight on this thing and just run around uh, hit firing people there's really not much point to using this weapon and i would definitely not recommend it heavy weapons in general in this game are very very bad that's down to the movement advanced warfare using an lmg is just not very helpful when there's people boost jumping around and you're slow to aim down sight you're slow to move you're slow to like reload your weapon it definitely puts you at a disadvantage people can boost jump around they've got smgs some like the asm1 like there's just no chance to well horn or any lmg to be honest can compete with those things uh, sometimes you might be able to get a leg up but in general uh, these lmgs need all the help they can get and this well horn is definitely it has a disadvantage in the fact that it doesn't have any extra damage the damage isn't decreased but it has the extra view kick and uh, the two points are put into handling which is one of the most pointless parts you can get it'll be much more helpful if it was put into range or fire rate just like the other one the chicanery which is a very very good variant and uh, almost viable except again lmgs do not have any sleight of hands so they're very much disadvantaged in that sense but let me know your thoughts on the Ameli Wellhorn maybe you like it maybe it's one of your favorite weapons let me know your thoughts and uh, how you find it getting I'm sure some of you guys have this weapon and uh, of course there's a lot of other advanced warfare videos I've made covering elite weapons in this game kind of reviewing them breaking down showing gameplay and uh, those videos will be in the playlist in the description for you to check out but hopefully you've enjoyed it this video taking a look at the elite Wellhorn. if you enjoyed the video give it a like rating make sure you subscribe to this channel for more advanced warfare videos and I'll see you guys later